Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms, and I want to welcome you to day eight of the 25 days of thriftmas. So today we are going to take uh, the picture frame that I found at the Goodwill Bins, and we are going to be doing a mixed media project for my holiday decor. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I wanna give a big shout out to my friend Kristen and I will have all her information linked in the description. So if you wanna go and follow her over on Facebook, definitely do it because she is just pack full of so many amazing ideas. So I hope you enjoy today's video and I can't wait to hear what you guys think at the end. I found this frame at the Goodwill bins and I knew I wanted to put some type of picture in it. I just didn't know what initially and I cut a piece of wood. I had this scrap wood just laying around. So I initially was going to apply some decoupage paper to it, do something like that. So I started off painting the wood round white swan by DIY and I applied two even coats to this and then that's when I changed my mind of what I was going to be doing with this project. Recently, my really good friend Kristen taught my membership group all about mixed media. And this is something I'm going to be keeping for myself. And right away, I'm like, I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I am going to break out the new Roy Cycled stencil with the snow globe. And I am going to create a mixed media project within this frame. And I really didn't know exactly where it was going to go. I kind of had some ideas, uh, but I knew I wanted a snow globe and I wanted wanted a snowman in the snow globe and so I hope you stick around and see how this project transpires. Recently at Hobby Lobby I picked up four sheets of this scrapbook paper. I really loved it because of the red writing on the musical paper versus black and here what I'm doing is laying down the stencil that I'll be using and I'm taking a pencil and I'm outlining the very edge of the stencil. That way uh, that will be the inside of the globe. So I'm taking my scissors, cutting that piece out and then what I eventually I will do once it's cut out, I am going to cut out the bottom portion, lay it all out, we're going to decoupage both of the pieces in place, and then that will be the inside of the globe. Now that we have the top portion all cut out, I wanted to do something that looked like it had texture to it, but I did not want anything, any writing or anything like that. And then I thought of the decoupage paper from Roy Cycle Chicken Scratch and I liked that black on there um, and it just it looked like it has texture. So now I'm taking the bottom portion of the stencil and I'm tracing out that and then we're going to cut that piece out and then that will be the bottom of my snow globe. From here, what we're going to do is I am going to lay it all out. I put the uh, frame back around just so I can make sure it's all um, basically as centerized as possible. And I'm laying out the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to, once I get the papers placed just perfect, I am going to pull the stencil off to start with the bottom piece, what I'm doing is I am marking where the bottom, like I'm just drawing a little line on the bottom, the top and the side, just in case something were to move. Uh, but it basically, I don't even know if I really needed to do that because I just lifted off one side like I typically do with Roy Cycle decoupage paper. I start on one side and I work my way over um, and I am using liquid patina for 
for the recycled paper. For the actual cardstock, uh, what I did use was Mod Podge because that is just a little bit heavier and I find that that sticks a little bit better with the Mod Podge. So again, I'm laying down the stencil. I am going to uh, figure out exactly where it all lines up and then I start on the top and then I work my way down. That is what I find to be the easiest when I'm working with either the liquid patina or the Mod Podge is I start off by just applying a nice even coat and then I lay down the paper, smooth out any wrinkles and then pull then I pull up the bottom and then I just start working my way down, putting down more liquid patina or Mod Podge, laying down the paper, smoothing it out. By working in sections, you really eliminate a lot of the wrinkles. Now that I have all of it down, it's dry. I am taking just regular black paint and I am going to now lay down my stencil and I am going to stencil the actual image on these two pieces of paper. And then that's when we can start getting creative. The one thing after I did, I used black here, I thought it was a bit harsh. I wish I would have used possibly like a gray uh, or just like a light gray. Um, I just felt like the lines were a bit harsh and I finally came up with a solution later on, but I was brainstorming. I was actually possibly contemplating re-stenciling over the black because again, I just felt like it was just real, just too dark. Now that that's completely dry, I'm coming in with DIY's new paint. Uh, it's their one-step paint and it was in collaboration with uh, Jamie Ray Vintage and I am using the color white linen. So it is really a very vibrant white and I am going to just start creating my snowman. And I do this just with a normal paintbrush and this with mixed media. What, like Kristen says, it does not have to be perfect. You do not have to have it look like anybody else's. This is just your vision and what you want your mixed media to look like, or if you're making a snowman like this, whatever you want your snowman to look like. So if you want him to be a skinny snowman, he can be skinny. If you want him to be a chubby snowman, he can be chubby. And uh, because I do want to add a saying in here and some snowflakes and like some embellishments, I'm trying to make him a fairly skinny snowman. Now that he is drying, which will take it just a little bit, I came up with my solution on that really harsh looking stencil. I am taking Golden Rule from DIY and this is a gilding wax uh, and I love this. And I'm just taking a very small paintbrush and I am just creating I'm not painting the entire piece, just kind of rubbing that gilding wax over some of the areas just to give it a little dimension and depth. And oh my gosh, you guys, I was so happy with how this turned out. It reminds me of the holidays because of the gold and it really tones down that black. Now it's time to draw his nose and I just have some orange paint that I had laying around. I use a very like almost like a pointy paintbrush just so that I can make a really nice uh, tip on him. And again, this does not have to be perfect. It's just a nose and we're going to have him like looking up at all the snowflakes in the sky. So we are pointing his little carrot nose up in the air. So as I was sitting here looking at how far I've gotten, I decided I did not like the white around the snow globe. So I contemplated, should I do red? Should I do yellow? What about green? 
And then I settled on Farm Fresh. <laughs> so I don't know why, but I just thought it was like a good compliment, complimentary color and I just liked it. So what I did is I just took another paintbrush and I then started going around the entire um, globe and just trying to, um, when I got around the globe, just really gently added that paint and then filled in and tried to make as minimal stroke lines as possible. I figured even if it had different, um, it wasn't perfectly evenly coated, it would give it more dimension. And I think eventually what I might even do is add a little bit of dark wax to it just to add a little bit more dimension to that background. If you haven't used the DIY paint before, what you should know is that DIY paint can be reactivated. So once I get done painting this, I'm going to let it dry very thoroughly and it does need to be sealed with either a wax, a top coat, uh, such as a poly or big top. Uh, you can seal it with liquid patina. It just needs to be sealed with something or it can be reactivated. Now here I want to give my snowman just a little bit more texture. So I'm coming back with a paintbrush and just kind of adding a bit of texture to him just so that, yeah, he just looks a little bit like he's just not flat. Now that that is completely dry, I put the frame back around it again. And as I was sitting there looking at the frame, I realized that the frame was too white. So now I broke out the gilding wax again and I am going to start adding a little bit of the gold gilding wax to the entire frame. And the nice thing about DIY paint, the waxes, big top is that it is all natural and that is a reason why too you should um, take whatever you're using if you're using paint you should pour it out of the container so that it does not get contaminated because it is all natural and it does not have all those harsh chemicals like a typical paint or wax would have so i'm taking my finger and i'm just rubbing the gold gilding wax all over the frame to bring out that gold in the snow globe Next, I want to add a scene to my snow globe. So I'm using the set Cozy from IOD and there is a stamp that says Stay Cozy and that is what we're going to stamp on here. I'm using the IOD permanent ink and I'm inking up the stamp. I had this white um, paper. It's I, I wouldn't say it's scrapbook paper. It's almost like um, a drawing type of paper. I have a whole pad of it and I just ripped a piece out and I stamped on there. Uh, it's not super thick, uh, like some of the scrapbook paper or the cardstock can get really, really thick. This is thinner, so it's very easy to tear. And then when you um, either, you know, decoupage it in place with um, Mod Podge, it goes on very nice. I go around the entire piece and I just kind of tear randomly. I don't want it a square. I want it just to have a very random appearance around it. And then we are going to take Mod Podge and we are going to place it uh, in the snow globe. So if you didn't have a set of stamps that had a saying like this, you could use uh, any other stamp set like with different letters and you can create your own sayings. So Letterpress by IOD would be perfect as well because it has three different fonts and you can pick which font um, to your liking, how, you know, whatever type of mixed media project you're working on. Uh, the fonts are smaller than the typical larger fonts that IOD had come out with. So it's perfect for small projects. Now it's time to embellish our snowman. I am using just a really fine tip Sharpie and I am going to create a tiny little smile on his face. Then we're going to take woodless charcoal pencils and we are going to create an outline around the snowman and this is a really fun tool uh, Kristen who taught the mixed media class said she absolutely loved these 
and I tried initially just to use a pencil to do this when I did my first project and I thought nope I'm her projects look amazing so I went to Hobby Lobby picked them up and the, these are definitely something I have become obsessed with. So not only do I outline his body, but I also outline his nose and he turns out so cute and it just really makes him pop off of that paper. So I almost forgot to add arms and I just take that same pencil and I give him an arm and a hand and I love how he's turning out. He's so super cute. Now I want to seal the Farm Fresh paint and I had a little bit of poly left over in the bottom of a container and it was kind of thick so it must have been drying out. It wasn't the normal consistency so I thought what a perfect project to use it on my own and then uh, after I started using it it was just it was kind of clumpy. I wasn't happy. I should have just tossed the whole container but after I started, I felt like I had to use the rest. So I continued on. Uh, it turned out fine. I just wish that um, it just had more a, a few more brush strokes, I think, because it was so thick and it didn't like level out at all, but that's okay. Uh, so I give, I clear coat the entire piece. I let this dry and then we are going to come back and finish the project. Then I got the idea because it was still tacky. I had bought some of this glitter and I thought, oh, it could look like snow inside the globe. So I sprinkled just a little bit of glitter inside the actual snow globe portion. Uh, nothing crazy, just a little bit to add in case the, the light catches. So now I'm going to embellish a bit here and I found these little wood snowflakes and I'm using Type Bond uh, and I'm going to flip them over. I put a little in the center and then take my finger and I kind of blot it just so that a lot of, um, of the Type Bond doesn't go through all the holes of it. And then I just hold it in place while it dries and it's it permanently sticks and i love how you can just keep embellishing uh actually at this point i looked around because i thought i would love to add little buttons to him and i thought that would be super cute and for the life of me i cannot find my bag of buttons that i had thrifted so eventually i will probably be adding little buttons to the front of him um, and might even put like a little piece of twine in the buttons uh, just to make it look kind of cute. Um, and it might be like blue, like a farm fresh blue just to tie that all together. today's video and definitely go over and give Kristen some love on her uh, Facebook page. It's Simply Joy Creations by Kristen. Uh, she is just jam-packed full, a ton of inspiration. Uh, she inspires me on a daily and I know that she'll do the same for you. So if you have been following along, um, definitely make sure that you go ahead obviously watch the video. I'm sure if you're at this point, you have done that. Uh, make a comment, like, and share this video. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead, give me a subscribe. I typically always load a video every Monday and Friday. Uh, currently in the month of December, you are going to get the 25 days of Thriftmas, so all 25 days. Um, but by going ahead, liking, commenting, and sharing, you will be um, 
able to be part of the a few of my favorite things customer appreciation challenge and if you want to know a little bit more about that go ahead watch day one it will show you the five items that i will be doing a drawing for over on facebook on december 26th during a live so i want to thank you guys all for following along and joining me for day eight we will see you now for day nine which is tomorrow uh, have a great evening and uh, we will see you then bye